My name is Chai. Life is smooth and a little boring, just like this midi dress on me. I still like it. People say I look older. It makes me make shorter, but it's safe until one day I see this girl walked into my life. All this time. She looks kind of like my identical twins. Oh wait, wait! That's the same dress. That's my dress. Why does it look different than her? Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies. Tú pasas de mi nivel. Tú tienes el pique. Hello there, my beautiful darling. I'm about to show you my best tips and tricks to make sure you look taller, leaner, and prettier in your midi dresses. This should never make you look older. By the way, my name is Chi. Why do they call me Chai all the time? No idea. Have you ever noticed every time you wear a midi dress, they make your legs look cut off, no matter how tall you are. That is not good news for women of any height, especially if you happen to be petite like me. I am five two. I care about every inch of my leg length. The reason they make your legs look cut off is because the length goes past your knee and they end somewhere above your ankle. In other words, they're covering too much of your legs. It's not enough showing. That's why it gives the eye the assumption that your legs are shorter. But hang on, hang on, Mr. Eye, I'm not done yet. This is what you do. Go with a midi dress with a slit or slits. It doesn't matter if it's one slit in the front on the side or slits on both sides. If the midi dress has any slit at all, when you are walking, that's gonna play a trick on Mr. I. Mr. I is gonna get a peek into your legs through those fabrics, so he is not gonna assume your legs are cut off by those midi dresses. Instead, he's gonna be thinking, mm, "Looks like." Her legs start there. Long legs. That's why any midi dress with slits are gonna make your legs appear longer and make you look taller. Besides, this is gonna add a subtle sexiness to your outfit. So no matter what age group you are, this is gonna make you look hot without being revealing at all. And this is my Angelina Jolie moment. <laughs> This video so far, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, leave me a comment below and let me know. I would be sad, but I would like to know that too. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you come back. Next, choose a right silhouette and let the dress define your shape. A line is a universally flattering dress shape and also the most forgiving because it's fitted at the top and it flares out under your waistline. Very, very critical. You want to make sure the dress flares out above your natural waistline. That is gonna give the eye the signal that your torso looks shorter than it actually is, and your legs look longer than they actually are. That's how you counterbalance the cutoff effect of your midi dress. <clears throat> In case Mr. I forgot his glasses today. You can define your waistline even more by using a belt. This dress actually comes with a belt. The belt is the same fabric, same color as the dress itself. However, the buckle is a different color that stands out. That is gonna send a signal to the eye. Hello there. This is my waistline right here. So Mr. Eye is gonna look at that. Okay, everything under that point must be her legs. You want to make sure that belt is sitting higher than your natural waistline. That's how you can make sure your torso appears shorter and your legs look longer. This is the best way for you to wear a belt, no matter how tall you are, and it's especially critical if you happen to be petite like me. It's also the most slimming way to create the illusion of the waistline. Without drawing attention to your midsection, if you happen to have midsection concern, I am an apple shape. Sometimes I am self-conscious about my waistline because a belt blends with your dress. It's not gonna draw too much attention to your belly. Now, if you want to take it to the next level, use a different color belt like this one. 
This is calling out to Mr. I. Attention, attention. Here is my waistline, and Mr. I is never gonna miss that. And because he's focused on your belt, he's gonna forget about legs cut off in that midi dress. Notice this is a wider belt. This works the best with someone who has a long torso, short leg body type, like me. If you don't know what that means, long torso, short torso, what exactly are you talking about? I have a whole other video how you can measure yourself and determine which one you are. It doesn't matter how tall you are, you could be 5'6", five, 5'8", five, but your torso might be long relative to your height. So make sure you watch this video as well. If you happen to have a short torso, you're on the other end of the spectrum, then I don't recommend you use a wide belt like this. You can use the same concept, however, to define your waist and draw attention higher with a belt that has a contrasting color. You just want to make sure the belt is not too wide because you don't want your torso to look has disappeared. Go with uneven hem. It could be slanted hem or the high-low dresses like the one I am wearing. This dress in the front looks like a midi dress and the back kind of looks like a maxi dress. This is a kind of dress that's gonna change the assumption of Mr. I once again. The reason midi dresses make us look cut off is because it has the horizontal line straight across our calves. And that's gonna tell Mr. I my legs are only this long. But when you wear uneven cam dresses like this, it's gonna change all of that and the eye is gonna assume, oh, actually your legs are longer than they appear. Go with a see-through dress. No, no, not that kind of see-through. I know what you were thinking about. Instead, I'm talking about a see-through lacy dresses such as this one. This dress is quite long. It's almost reaching my ankle. If it were not these fabrics, it probably is gonna make me look swamped and also gonna make my legs look super cut off. Because it's lace dresses, it's aligning. This is gonna give Mr. I the peak into my legs way above the hem of this dress. That is why Mr. I is gonna believe my legs are not just those two inches short under that hand. That's how you can make sure you don't make your legs look buried if you wear a long midi dress like this. Besides, I love lacy dresses. They're just so celebrative and so cute. This is perfect if you have a wedding event coming up as a wedding guest. It's long enough. The tea length is perfect for wedding occasions. When you're choosing your midi dresses, one very important factor is how long it is. Because where the hem of your dress ends, that's where Mr. I is gonna be paying attention to. If it happens to end at the widest part of your calves, uh-oh, that's not a good news, especially for those of us who already have white calves. I have skinny calves. Still, you don't want your dress to ever end at the widest part of your calves, ever. You wanna go either shorter or just go longer and cover those calves. Now let's talk about your shoes. That's very important because you're wearing a midi dress which can make your legs look cut off. If you are petite like me or whatever your height is, you don't want your legs to look shorter, then wear the shoes to make your legs look elongated instead. That's why every time I wear midi dresses, most of the time I will be wearing heels. If the midi dress is taking off two inches from your legs, I'm adding it back with the heels. That's the most easy way for you to counterbalance. If you cannot wear heels or you don't want to wear heels for whatever reason, some of you have mentioned in your comments below, don't worry, there's something for everybody. Go with nude shoes that have no heels. These are my new shoes collection, nude flats, nude sandals. They don't have heels but they still can make your legs look elongated because the color of your shoe blends with the color of your skin. The eye cannot tell where your legs end. It's gonna assume your feet are part of your legs. Another secret tip to elongate your legs under those midi dresses, wear pointed toe. It could be pointed toe heels, meals, or flats. It doesn't matter if you have heels at all. As long as you have pointed toe, it's gonna give Mr. I the signal, 
Hey, look here! My legs look longer than they actually are. This oversized everything trend has been going on forever. I'm talking about meaty dresses like this that go straight up and down. There's no waist definition and they hit your mid-calf. Are they comfortable? Yes. Are they flattering? If you're Kendall Jenner, I would say yes because whatever you throw on yourself, even if it's just a sleep bag, I mean, a supermodel, sure. But if you're an average person like myself, it's hardly making you look good no matter how tall you are. Especially if you are petite like myself, you have to do a lot of adjustments to make those things work. The way to make this kind of midi dresses work is to add a belt or wear a jacket. And the key is to change the perception of your proportion. I do have another video how to use the rule of thirds to define your proportion and make the eye believe you look taller, leaner in everything you wear. This doesn't involve high heels, it doesn't matter how tall you are, and it doesn't matter what body shape you have. It always works like magic. So make sure you watch this video, how to use my secret tips of proportion to look better in everything you wear.